We are entering Lake Chad. This is Africa's largest internal sea, but its future is under threat. Part of the lake is now only a few centimeters deep. Climate change means there isn't enough rain to fill the lake anymore. Lake Chad is still 2,000 square kilometers wide and on average four meters deep. But 40 years ago, it was 10 times wider and twice as deep. Fish are now rare. When we were kids, there was plenty of water in the lake and many fish. Our parents were earning a decent living. But now there's nothing left. We are suffering. As for the islands you see over there, they were completely flooded. But now the water level is going down and the desert is gaining ground. Fewer resources, but more people. Fishermen come here from neighboring countries as well. From the whole Sahel desert, they come to settle on the new land that emerges as the water of the lake retreats. Over 30 million people rely on the lake for food. These resources are under growing pressure. The catches are smaller and smaller in size, and the fishermen are feeling the squeeze. I left the other shore of the lake in Niger because there wasn't enough water there. I am now here in Chad, but if the water levels continue to go down, I will again have to move. This is the Shari, the river that used to fill the lake. But during the dry season, the water level is now too low. The only thing that could save the lake would be the channeling of water to this river. A commission has been set up. Experts said this might be feasible. To save the lake, we have to transfer part of the water of the Ubangi, a river between the Democratic Republic of Congo and the Central African Republic, 1,400 kilometers from here, to channel it to the Chari River that goes into the lake. That will cost billions of dollars. Yes, just for the study it would cost about five to six million US dollars. Do you have the money? Yes, this money is available for the study. And to fund the project? As for implementing the project, the heads of state of the countries concerned by the lake have the willingness to see this project through so it can be saved. The idea would be to channel 5% of the water of the Ubangi River in the Congo to the Chari River. It's a huge project that would cost billions of US dollars. It would involve the governments of the region getting the trust of the international community and the international community agreeing to take up this environment challenge, a challenge on which the future of this region depends.